Hey guys, how's it going? Dark the Inkling here. Today I'm making a guide talking about Lucario's down air. This move is not only an attack he has, but there's also just a lot of kind of utility you can do with it. There's a lot of different tech you can perform, a lot of ways to switch up your movement. So we're going to be talking about some of that today. I am saving what I think is by far the most important and interesting tech for last, so make sure to stick around and watch till the end. So starting off, the most basic use for Lucario's down air is obviously to use it as an attack. You can use it as a combo starter at low percent to get a jab block, or you can use it out of or certain terms at higher percents. The move is also Lucario's fastest out of shield option, comes out on frame 4, so plus the frames of your jump squat, it's a frame 7 out of shield option. It's pretty fast. Only problem with it is it does not have a whole lot of range. Your opponent kind of has to be inside of you, but nonetheless, it's a good option in the right situation. Another thing you can do with down air is cancel your momentum. So there's a few ways you can use this. You can use this when you are in disadvantage trying to land. You can use it to mix up the time you will return to the stage. You can use it while you are off stage recovering to mix up when you will recover. You can also use this to cancel your ledge jump, which is really interesting. So if Mario's jumping and back airing here, covering jump, you could jump from the ledge, use your down air to cancel your momentum, but the player would likely still see the startup of your jump and they would try to react to that. So they would likely full hop and do something, but you would be under them afterwards so you could always get a quick punish since Lucario's down air has very low landing lag. So this is another good way to mix up your ledge options as well. The next thing I want to mention about Lucario's down air is a tech called air walking. So by now you know that when you use Lucario's down air, normally you stop all your momentum. He kind of freezes in place and does the down air. Now there is a way to avoid that and that is if you buffer the down air out of hit stun. If you get hit and you're in hit stun and you buffer a down air, you'll just use a down air while you fall. But if you buffer a double jump down air, you can use a rising down air. Now this is really really interesting for Lucario because you are jumping and putting out like a very quick hitbox right below you as you jump. So if you're ever in a situation where you were going to jump out of a combo anyway, you might as well do this because not only are you going to jump out of the combo, but you're going to put a hitbox below you. So if they try to chase you, they're going to get hit. So this is, a, this is a nice way to break strings that you know aren't true. But you do want to be careful and not spam this because if your opponent knows you're going to do it, they can just punish you down here. Now, there's one last thing I want to talk about. I think this is debatably the most important tech you can perform with Lucario's down air. It's really, really interesting, really useful. This one I think is actually very viable competitively, even though some of the others might not necessarily be. And this is what I, something I'm going to call dare landing for now until someone suggests a better name. So in Smash Ultimate, you can do what's called a wave land, where you jump and air dodge diagonally down onto a platform, and you kind of slide. And this is basically like the fastest way for most characters to land on a platform, because if you just double, if you just jump and fast fall, like it takes you a second to fall back down onto the platform. But this essentially will cancel your jump and get you onto the platform right away. But Lucario actually has a much, much faster way of doing this, and that is by using his down air. If you time it exactly right, where like essentially no hits of the move come out it's it's really 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 fast i'm pretty sure it's like 12 frames faster 12 frames less end leg than a wave land of course you do not have the slide you're gonna stop in place but it's still it's it's so much faster so it's really interesting to like mix this in and mix it up and use them interchangeably like the the kind of like pressure you can do with this is insane Alright guys, that's all I had for today. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Tell me which of these texts you think is the most useful or interesting. And I will see you guys next time.